Hey, what's happening, everybody? It is time for a Monday afternoon thrift haul. I'm your one host, Vegas Jay, coming at you live from the surface of the sun here in Las Vegas. Holy hell, is it hot. My, oh, my. And what do you do when it's hot? You wear a crocheted beer can hand. That hat, that's for damn sure. <clears throat> and with me today, I have a very special guest. And the reason she's on today is uh, she's a member of the thrifting board and the secret beach, but she was just in Vegas, just hit all six savers of Vegas, a couple goodwills, a mom and pop or two, and she's going to give us her full rundown. Cheryl White Cotton, how are you, Cheryl? Hi, I'm good. How's everybody? What's going on? All right, so one quick thing, since we were a little behind, angle down a little bit. We're seeing too much ceiling, not enough, Cheryl. There we go. Better? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, although your ceiling is the door here. <laughs> All right, so if you were watching the uh, the Facebook Live I just did in the thrifting board as a tease, I showed you my new hat. Now, if you are younger, you've probably never seen these. Uh, anyone our age, older, yeah, this was all the rage in the 70s. That's for damn sure. I had a collection of them, and uh, this is Ham's beer. And what's nice about this one is it's really big. Typically, these are made not to fit big noggins. But this one is so big that it fits me nicely. So it'd be uh, uh, an easier sale to someone who's got a big ass head. But I did buy it for a friend who's a huge Ham's beer fan and he's got a big head. Uh, but I paid 15 bucks. If I was to sell this on eBay, I would probably at least triple my money, about $45, $50. But the weird thing, check this out, Cheryl. So it's Ham's all the way around. Oh, yeah. And then Fresca on top. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they ran out of beer. <laughs> I say that kind of screws it up a little bit, but typically you don't see the top unless you're sitting. So. Exactly. <laughs> uh, 66 in Oregon. All right. That sounds better. Uh, all right. So let's start with you. I, I've got my hat out of the way. You hit all six savers in town. Was that your first time hitting all six savers in Vegas? It was my first time hitting any savers in Vegas. Usually when I've been, we either fly or when we drive, we're just kind of stuck at the casinos. And this time I made a point. I wanted to pay for my trip as we traveled. So, well, not quite as we traveled, but I wanted to be able to pay for my trip once we got home and list everything. So we hit a couple places on Barstow along the way. We stayed the night there Hit all the savers at a goodwill. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to hit the smaller ones because on the 4th of July, they were all closed. Damn, damn birth of our country holiday. I know. I really wanted to go that castaways, and I kept calling, and I'm like, okay, maybe they're just busy. And yeah, no, they were closed. So, but I found the Goodwill down on Tropicana, which my favorite. I love it. I got some good. That's where I got my wings. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Found, so, that, found that one. All right. So six savers or six savers in town. We have everything from one of the biggest to probably one of the smallest. And from crazy town to the rich part of town and everything in between to the regular yep. suburbs. So which was your favorite? Tropicana was my favorite. Because it's so big? Because I found so much stuff there. I went back twice to that one and have four different receipts from it because I kept buying <laughs> stuff. So I found so much stuff there. It's like I took stuff out to the car and then, you know, got refreshed my daughter with some water. And then we went back in and then we did it again two days later on the fort. So much stuff there. So that that was my biggest haul. That was my biggest. And then on the fourth, on the way back to the hotel, that's when I found the Goodwill. So happy I did. I, I had no clue. I actually had my mom with me. So I always joke and I hope nobody takes offense that I had my old person. So I got my senior discount with her. <laughs> Hey, 40 percent is 40 percent <laughs> so i made sure i had her with me but those, those two on tropicana were probably my favorite my least favorite one i have to say was the um looking at my receipts here, i think it was the lake mead one mm, that's that, that's a rich part of town well and maybe that's why i found for me that things i went on 20 per, you know i had my 20 percent coupon i didn't have anything else because the 30 percent i had from california isn't good in vegas you can't use them in nevada so i had to do my 20 percent, which was i know it says right on the coupon too i didn't know and um things were kind of higher priced which is still not horrible but you know when i was looking at you know a scrub top they wanted like eight dollars for a scrub top where the other ones want like three bucks you know, so I just found their prices for me to be a little bit higher. I still looked, 
but within my price range, I was kind of sticking with it. I, I only bought two things there. Oh, geez. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So maybe I went on a bad day. Maybe everybody was in town shopping. <laughs> yeah, that could be part of it. But the one, one thing I liked about the Savers in Vegas is none of them were busy. I, I went and we didn't have to wait in lines. I think because there's so many choices there. Where you go to our local Savers in Fountain Valley on a 50% off day, you're waiting 40 minutes in line, even for a dressing room. So I liked yeah, having that yeah, option yeah. of not waiting all day for it. So What's um, crazy town? Crazy town, I wish would have been crazier. I liked it. I went back to that one. Uh, no, actually, I, ha I lied. I did go to crazy town one other time last summer when my daughter and I were in town. Um, it was a little crazier then, and I think – that's before they did the remodel because now they've remodeled it. Isn't it pretty now? It is pretty, but it's not as crazy. <laughs> but I definitely found some good stuff there too. So found um, a rain spooner there. I, I Myself, I tend to stick to the same things. I just haven't broken too much out of my comfort zone as everybody talks about, which I'm trying to do more and more. But I stick with the, the men's shirts. I stick with the, the wall. I love the um, wall of bags. And then scrub tops are kind of where I always start going to first. And then the lingerie for the plus size stuff. And then I kind of branch out. So, no, I look though. I always, that's one thing. I always look in the vase section. Well, I have, they're not quite tiki mugs, but I found a couple of these guys. Mm, Royal see, Norfolk. See a little closer, please. Uh, let me get up there. And let me see the front again. Yeah, hold it a little higher, a little higher. Huh. And I have this guy too. All right, cool. So not quite tiki, but as close as I got. So those guys I, I think I'm probably gonna put up. They don't look like they go for a lot, but I think I probably pay two bucks each. So I'm thinking maybe thirty bucks for both of them. Kind of what I'm looking at. Now those aren't specifically tiki bar mugs, but skulls do work into tiki bars. Yeah. I'll show you a picture. I can figure out where my phone just went. Oh, here it is. Because <laughs> I just took a picture of my skull collection the other day, oddly enough. Ah. And so. You know what? I remember when I did one of the classes, you said your wife collects the pirates and the skulls, right? Yep. Okay. So here is. See, I thought this was about all quick and uh, easy peasy. All right. So I lied. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I had a picture of skulls, but I don't know where I went. Yeah, so we got like yeah. a round shelf with 12 different Tiki Skull mugs on it. So if you put the word Tiki Bar in the title of that listing, no one will bust your chops. Oh, okay. Oh, fantastic. That's good to know. I was just thinking yeah. skull and, you know, I'm trying to expand on more keywords, you know, because I'm still, I've been selling a couple years, but I still consider myself a newer seller. You know, not a season does a lot of people, but I do okay. All right. So I've been teasing this for a while. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Do you have a set of headphones around? We didn't talk about headphones because we didn't have any feedback issues yesterday. We did not. So we are right now. Okay. Uh, is that I, any better? I hear me coming out of you. Uh, okay. I can go find some. Can you hold on a yeah. sec? So what I'll do is I'll show some things. And I'm sorry. I should have told you to have those ahead of time. I can grab them. Hold on. Thank you. And All right. I just got that picture that I was looking for. So while she's doing that, uh, there it is. So here are the skulls in the library. So they're all different shapes and sizes from different, there we go, from different tiki bars. And although they aren't tiki, they do fit into the tiki theme. So there we go. All right, so let me start with a couple pieces of clothing while Cheryl's hunting down some headphones. <clears throat> Uh, I love vintage made in the USA jeans. Of course, the older you find, the more they're worth. These aren't that old, uh, but they're, you know, probably 80s. So the 80s will have the paper tag. It says made in the USA. And uh, these are orange tabs. And what's nice is they're green. You don't find the greens too often. And they're five they're five fifties. And you can tell by the tag, they're in great shape. They're 40-year-old jeans. And they're just, they look amazing. So I paid, uh, I think, seven bucks for those. And should get about, you know, 35, 40 bucks. Hello, Cheryl. All right, I'm back. Can you hear me? Right. Yep, and I think okay. that fixed our problem. Yay. Uh, now, here's a fun story. 
I've told the story before, but the brand is called Lot 29. I don't think they're in business anymore. This was a 90s urban brand. And they did a lot of work with Warner Brothers. And so these shorts are Marvin the Martian. Awesome. But I got an angry message from a customer once. He had bought a Lot 29 um, Sylvester and Tweety t-shirt from me. And for 20 bucks free shipping. And he wanted to know where the other 28 shirts were. I said, sir, it does not say lot of 29. The brand is lot. He thought he got 29 branded Warner Brothers t-shirts for $20 with free shipping. Oh, wow. That would have been a bargain. Yeah. Oh, by the way, <laughs> and everything we share today is for sale. If you want to buy something directly from us, we don't have to go through the rigmarole of eBay. Cheryl or I, and I'm speaking on your behalf, you might yeah. not want to do this, but Cheryl, yeah. I'd be happy to sell it to you. Those jeans that I just tossed away were 36s and these Marvin shorts are 42s. Now the shorts aren't going to be that big. The jeans would do better, but I'm a big Marvin fan from way back. Marvin's actually underneath the Kraken. And so uh, I always gravitate towards him. But speaking of pants, here's something cool, Cheryl. And I can't, no one's had these on eBay. Uh -huh. And so I, I don't normally buy Dockers. <laughs> Dockers oh, yeah. are ubiquitous they're boring they're plain however right. these are actual stanford dockers oh Gold wow orange those are interesting cool as hell and i can't find any and so what? i'm like wow i that i thought it was cool when i got them it got so much more cool the fact that no one's had any of them up recently yeah i mean every time you think of dockers you think khakis or navy blue or and not ever co-branded, you know. <laughs> nope. you know? So yeah, so they licensed Dockers to make some orange pants. So these are forty thirties, and I nice. thought they were pretty cool. You know, we're we'll be at college football season very very soon. <laughs> and, and then loves along orange. with the other five fifties. Oh, the other five fifties were thirty six thirties. Here's another pair of orange tab thirty six thirties in black. They are so black. I think these two pairs I've shown weren't ever worn or washed. Wow. I mean, they're not crisp, solid, but look how black they are for being 1980s. Yeah, there's no fading. Yeah, they were not. stuck away in the closet Zero. somewhere. So someone said orange is odd for Stanford. Is Stanford? Oh, Stanford's red and white. Okay, so who's an S? Syracuse. I bet you it's Syracuse. I just picked the wrong college. That's how much <laughs> I pay attention to college. I got kicked out after one year. Can you tell? See, that's how much I know. I can't yes, correct you sorry, there. My bad. And that's probably why I didn't find them because I Googled the wrong pants. All right, let's try this. Let's try <laughs> Syracuse Dockers. I bet you those will come up. Oops. Spelling also helps. Oh, no. Sarah. Nope. Nothing on there. So, okay. I'm still feeling good. Oh, yeah. there they are. Wow. Someone's got them for $59. There's one pair of new up there. So, I'm still feeling good oh, now yeah. that I have the correct college. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ginny. That it, Ginny, good eyes. That was a staple from the original tag on the back of the black jeans. You're right. It is. Like these have never right there. Wow. Somebody caught that. That's amazing eyes. Yeah. But that, you know, I like vintage USA jeans anyway, but these are vintage and never worn or hardly worn or maybe worn once. I don't know. But uh, I mean, the tag's still crisp. It's uh, pretty awesome. I tend to go with a never worn on those. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm excited by those. All right, awesome. now that we don't have crazy echo, let's okay. see what you found. <laughs> okay, should I start with the rain spooners? Yeah, let's see those rain spooners. I'm excited. Okay. All right, bear with me. I'll try to get the right angle here. Is that pretty good? Oh, you have a July 4th one. We just had July 4th. <laughs> I, I found it on July 4th. <laughs> I know. What a, what a crazy day to find it. Uh, it's the like Dietrich, uh, what is it? Dietrich de Verez branded one. Yep. So, so this is a 4th of July then. So it looks like 2008 for this one. Yep. So and they I do, and I don't know if they do every year on, on the Independence Day, but they do every year. They do a Christmas shirt. They do date them. Okay. And is that a full button or is that a pullover? It is a full button. Okay. And it's a 2XL. So. Good size. I like it. And what'd you, what'd you, do you remember what you paid for it? Um, these were each $10. Then with my 40% senior discount, I paid what? Six bucks a piece for them. 
So, and I'm thinking I'm going to list them either 39 or 49 once I do a little bit more research. I'm, I'm tending to lean towards the 39 on some of these. Okay. So, if you think anything different, please holler. I will. Hi. <laughs> right. Okay, here's the next one. And I, these all had to have come from the same person. They're all a double X. And I think they literally had just put them out and they were waiting for me. Oh, wow. So, so that's, the, this, that's the Hawaii State flag and the Hawaii State fish, the Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apu A A. And the Nini bird. I got that one. Yep. Nini bird is the Hawaiian <laughs> goose. There you go. There's your Hawaiian lessons today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I got that one. And this is also a Dietrich. And this one is dated on it. Uh, let's see if I can get a front one. Right here under the Nini, it's got 2007. Very cool. So, and same price. I paid six bucks for him. And here is this one. Same thing, 2XL. And it's got the great tiki's on there and the uh, palmeras. Yeah, the, I saw this when you showed me the picture originally. I love, I love the tiki's on there. Yeah, that one's, I really like that one. Just more, um, I couldn't find anything matching it up trying to look online. All right, and the last of the ones from that four batch. And this one is dated 2006 also. The same nice. one. Yep. And same thing, it's a 2XL. And this is the 50th anniversary one. Oh, nice. There you go. So, yeah. And that one, what did I look? That one, I think, I think I'm going to go like $42.99. I found one for $42.95. And then somebody's trying to list one for $106. Yeah, so I'll go higher than that. If you see one for $42.99 at $106, go higher. Because because if you if you if you've delved into the forty two ninety nine, are they offering returns? Do they ship one day? Do they have free ship? You know, uh -huh. just because you see a price doesn't mean you're comparing apples to apples just yet. Make sure right. that other seller is doing the same quality things that you're doing. Because if they're not, you should, but not always, but you should win. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm one of those that don't do one day shipping right now. <laughs> and I think all those were reverse print, correct? They are all reverse print. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Now let's see the other. I have one more rain spoon or two that I found. And this one, I really like the print. It's got a seaplane on it. It's like a vintage um, vintage scene, which I really like. Very nice. And this one does not have a size, so I'll have to measure it. Yeah, that's the thing with some of the rain spooners I find that don't have sizes. So I just measure them and then look it up on their site for what would be comparable. So this one, I found some comparable ones, but where was it? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't find my, oh, um, I was thinking around $39.99 for this too. The uh, comparables. Yeah. Yeah, think about good. All right, now this one, if I've done my research correctly, is a Joe, can you see it? Yep, Sorry. hold it up higher. Don't, for, don't forget the camera. There you go. The camera's, uh, <laughs> you're you're holding up for the little squares down below. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to FaceTime, but not the not the yeah, computer that, one. That is so. Joe Kealoha, which is which is ended up purchased by Rain Spooner. Okay, that's why I have another one that has a Joe Kila, but it says Rain Spooner. This one didn't. Yeah, even so, if it isn't. You can use it nowadays because they own them. Because they own them. So okay, so this one. I thought I had everything here. Yeah, I don't have this one down. I'm not too sure what to ask on this one, so but what's, what's I, the pattern. What, what do we got going on there? It's um, Caribbean and Jamaica. Oh, cool. So probably 39. Also, uh, I, I don't know higher. You think so? Like 49? Yeah. Okay. Done. The so freight station has a question: a reverse print, more special? No, not more special. It's just a type of way they do the shirt. So when you're selling it, you have to say it. Because if it's not reverse print, then the customer needs to know that. If it is reverse print, the customer needs to know that. So it's like yeah. saying short sleeve or long sleeve. You gotta you gotta tell the customer. So the other thing on some of these I was just gonna point out, and I don't know if somebody's asking about reverse print too. And does this one have one? Is the matching pocket. I know that's a big deal too yep. on some of the shirts. Yeah, it takes having more material to match up the pocket than if they would just cut a swatch and stitch it on. Yeah. And so when it's a matched pocket, you always want to trumpet that because um, 
it, it shows that a little bit more skill and care and time were put into that shirt. All right. So I'm out of rain spooners, but I still do have two Hawaiians. I found a um, Paradise Found one, which is a, again, this doesn't have a size, but this is larger. I'm going with at least a two on this, a two X probably. Let me get the tag up there. Uh, let me see the back of that. All right, cool. So that one, I've sold some of the Paradise down for 49. So um, I'll measure it, make sure of the size if it's a two or three. I'll probably stick with the same price on those. Yeah, the cool thing about Paradise Found is they, they still make majority of their shirts that they've made for 40 years, but yeah. people don't ever go looking for them new. And you can usually get used what they sell for new or within like five or 10 bucks. So it's pretty yeah. cool. Well, none of these shirts that I got, uh, other than the Rain Spooners at six bucks a piece, none of these others I paid more than five bucks a piece for. That's cool. kind of my limit, especially on an unknown. If I'm not sure of something, I usually stick to five bucks. So this one I got, which I know it's not a big name brand, but this one I think I paid three bucks for. And it's a 5XL. I think it said something else after that XL. What else does it say? Oh, XLT. Yes, because 5XL and 5XLT are two different sizes, so make sure when you list yes. it. Uh, yeah, so Island Passport is one of the big and tall brands at the big and tall stores like DXL. Oh, and okay. uh, that's for guys who don't want to spend the bigger money on like Tommy Bahama or Tori right. Richard. They'll, they'll get the Island Passport. But yeah, 5XLT is a great size. Yeah, so I'm thinking probably around $29.99 on this one. They didn't seem to be going for a whole lot, but kind of most things like to ten, tend to shoot a little higher so i figure i'll put it up with 49 and then best offer i got go from there all right now this one also is not a high-end brand but i really like the print i'm kind of weird that way this is high c's yeah the high c's have some good prints no one ever looks for that brand though but they do have good prints and, and yeah. in that you're definitely going to use cocktails and atomic that's a badass shirt martini yep i like that one so and again, I this one I want to say I paid lower, so probably four bucks for it. I'm sorry, I don't remember the exact amount. All right, and then I have a Hilo Hattie I found, which is a 3X. That one is listed there. Very nice. And again, I like the print. I know Hilo Hattie can go either way depending on prints, you know, but this one was more of a unique print to me. And, and there's so many good keywords in there, too. Yeah. And it's a matching pocket also. Very so, nice. Again, probably around five on that. Okay, now I'm out of Tiki shirt. Should I pull out bras? So yeah, get the bras ready. I'm going to hop in here. <laughs> okay, you hop in. I'm going to reach over and grab so Not as exciting as Levi's, but still we'll have a nice return. Uh, vintage Lee Storm Rider jacket. It's got the lined uh, inner and... Uh, Great shape denim outer. Yeah, this will be uh, probably be like based on the soles. This will be like a fifty dollar jacket. Paid, I think, seven or eight bucks for it. Now these, I had never seen these, and they do exist based on my research, but I didn't realize that these are silver tabs, which we've talked about extensively. And these are not baggies, but they are loose and they're blacks. So blacks do well. But what I had never seen before were silver tab button flies. Oh. All the silver tabs I've ever sold were a zipper. So I'm like, hmm, bootleg or rare. They didn't make a lot of button flies. I only see like three or four on eBay. Uh, oh, wow. So probably get about 35, 40 bucks. It's a smaller size. Now, this one's kind of a dud, which I, I'm shocked by. Uh, Dragonfly is a great brand of like club shirts, you know, guys' club shirts. Uh -huh. And everyone loves dogs playing poker. So I thought, man, how can you go wrong? Yeah. Right? Dragonfly dogs playing poker, but people are only selling this shirt for like ten or twelve dollars. My like, crap, I paid seven. So <laughs> I will aim higher and just yeah. wait. And I'll get the right yeah. keywords in. I'll, I'll figure out other keywords that maybe others aren't using. Maybe I'll pick out all the dogs and put the specific breeds in my title because I'm bummed. I'm bummed. Now, Cheryl, you might think, look at these and think corduroy. Oh yeah, nineties. But no, these are silk Tommy Bahama shorts. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
And I knew that mainly because I have four pair in my closet of uh, a variety of colors. So do those so, well? Yeah, you know, they were only five bucks. And I'm guessing whoever priced them didn't realize they were silk. And But I knew because I have some. Yeah. And so uh, I wish the color was a little better, but not everyone wants bright colors like I do. So, <laughs> but I'll put them up for like 30 bucks. I paid $5 for them. I have never, ever looked at men's shorts. I only, for the most part, only look for my size. Ugh. And so I was in the section and I'm just like, oh, I know yeah. those shorts. Yeah. I, I've done that before. I've been looking for, for shirts for me and go through and I found some good stuff, you, just, you know, not stuff I'd normally look at. I don't deal too much in women's clothing only because at times there seems to be so much of it. But again, I, I'm still trying to expand, you know, what I sell and what I look for. So every day is something a little different. All right, so teeing off of your Hawaiian stuff. <laughs> uh, I was my wife the other day, and she found this. So when you have a matching top and Hawaiian bottom shorts for men, it's called the cabana set. And I, don't, I was thinking about this the other day. I don't know if it's called the cabana set when it's ladies, but this is a pullover top with a little tie down the corner here, and then the matching shorts. So I don't know oh. if ladies are also called cabana sets. But the brand is Royal Creation. They've been around for a long time. It's not, you know, it's not high end, but it's not bad. And I have sold much Royal Creation stuff before. It's nice graphics with the pineapples. Oh, yeah. And the hibiscus. And it is a size XL. And then the last two pieces of clothing in this box. Uh, I don't know exactly what this is. So let's see what kind of nerds we have watching. And I say that very lovingly. T Fury is a brand of shirt I've talked to you guys about a lot. The T Fury tends to take two different things and kind of mash them together. So I think this is a Doctor Who shirt, but I don't know what the second thing is. I don't know what's going on because I'm not a Doctor Who fan. I've never seen it. I, I'm aware of it. I know that there's been like, I don't know, 12 different Doctor Who's. Maybe that's yeah. all this is, the 12 faces of Doctor Who. I don't know. Are you a Doctor Who nerd? No. All right. <laughs> Again, I know what it is. I know the whole TARDIS thing, but that's about it. <laughs> so, I mean, and that might be way off because it's not in my wheelhouse. Like, you know, if this was Spice Girls or Tiki, I'd be all over it. But <laughs> so uh, if anyone in the chat knows this, or if you're watching the show, not live after the fact, if you know what shirt this is, and if anyone's interested, if it is uh, what I'm thinking it is, it is a double XL. All right. So Ken says, looks like Doctor Who to me. But like, like I said, T Fury usually has two things jammed together. So I don't know what the second part is in that. Uh, and then last but not least, this is a relatively newish brand. It's been around for a while, but most people don't know. It's called Psycho Bunny. They sell for a lot of money. They're one of the brands that come in big and tall. So like a big and tall, plain blue Psycho Bunny t-shirt with a little Psycho Bunny on it like this will go will be new for like $85. Wow. So I picked up this new with tags, pink polo for three bucks. And uh, okay. because it's a small, it won't be a, as a big of a sale, but still going to be a nice return on a $3 investment. Again, a section I never look at is the men's pullover shirts. You know, I, I usually don't either. But yeah. that uh, I saw the new with tags sticking out. So even if I'm not, even if in a section I don't normally hit, if I see new with tags sticking out of yeah. anything, I'll stop and peruse it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we, we might have an answer. Let's see here. Doctor Who with a Time Lord language. Okay. So huh? Doctor Who and Time Lord jam together. Thank you. Thank Hello. you, Ramon. You rock. Oh, sure. um, Stephanie wanted to know what size was the shirt with drinks on it, the High Sierra with drinks? It is, I believe, an XL. Let me grab it. Doctor Who, Doc Around the Clock. All right. I'm so crammed in my little workspace over here. It is. You know. Thank you, everybody. An XL. All right, there you go, Steph. XL. All right, what you got there? Let's see your let's see your bras. Well, I did forget one thing. I do have a women's Hawaiian dress I'd found. Oh, very nice. And nice tappa pattern. Everything is kind of meshing together on which store I bought it in, but I definitely bought it in Vegas. And yeah, it's it's definitely a full length, full zipper, and it's got the nice um, I don't know what you call it in the back, but it almost uh drapes out a little bit and what, what i'm sorry what was the brand there oh yeah i've sold many dresses Mar before. margo's so yep. so i have not researched this one so i don't know what i'm going to ask for it but 
with the Hawaiian dresses, the more vintage, I'm probably going to go high, maybe 69 best offer. Yep, I like it. Okay, perfect. Okay, so bras, this was the funniest purchase of the week. Um, went on 50% day. So that was, I think the third was 50% day for club members on everything. They had like a 50% day on the first club members um, or like clothing club members got everything the second and then so on. They had different days. So this is interesting. It's called a her secret bra. Now they're small. So you know what it is? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm just like, I'm okay. intrigued. I'm like they're, they're small sizes. I got, um, what did I say? I think I got 12 of these and they have a little pocket for money or credit cards ah. rather than getting, you know, as we'll say, boob sweat all over. It's got a little pocket. <laughs> <laughs> now these are all brand new with tags and they're, they're smaller. They're 30. I think I've got 34 B C and a 36 D, but I've got 12 total. And these things cost me 75 cents a piece. What? So what? Seven fifty for all of them, I think is what I calculated it at. I sold one last night for $17. So now, I've what, already what made store, a profit. Where'd you get them for that cheap? What store was that? This one was at Tropicana. Okay. So, and it was half off day. So yeah, so I've got a whole bag of those. <laughs> so I'm going to address what Brian just said in the chat. Brian said, I have a hard time checking out bras. I feel like people are staring at me. Brian, look at this. <laughs> Six, five. Just wait in today. I am 265 or 266. I shop in the bra section all the time. I'm guessing you look better than this. Well, Jason, I have to tell you, one of the first, I, I've been to two classes with you locally in California. The first one, you were, sh you were showing us the bra section and you held up this rather large pink bra and you're modeling it. I still have that picture somewhere on my phone. And when I'm talking about you, people are like, wait, he sounds familiar. It's like, oh, let me show you the picture. <laughs> 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 and then I go, oh yeah. <laughs> so, yep, I show you around here. All right, so rest of bras, I, you know, got the basic. This is comfort choice, and this one is a 52C. And bras, I usually stick around the $4 range, so these all cost me with, within 3 to $5 mostly. And this one, I've already got a couple people watching it. This is Elaine Bryant. And it's one of the convertible bras where you can do it strapless or crisscross it in the back. And this one is a 44C, so it's Lane Bryant Kashyyyk. And it, I, I mean, you know, I'd never listed as brand new, but when you look at some of these, you can kind of tell that they haven't been worn. You know, they haven't been washed. So this one looks pretty good shape. Not the best of colors, but it works all the same for me. And I got two Bally bras, brand new with tags that are 50Ds. Nice. So they're underwired, got two of those. And this one, what one is this? This is called uh, Leading Lady. This was a 44G. Again, you know, I try to look for brighter colors, but if all I can get in beige and white is black, then I'll buy them, you know. But I know you have said in the past that the, um, you know, pretty colors or, you know, lacier things tend to be better sellers. I did get a blue one. You know, the problem is, for whatever reason, I don't know, do bra companies think uh, larger ladies don't want to be pretty and sexy too? I mean, of course, it's, it's, it's beige, it's white, it's black. So when you yeah. do find blue even... It's yeah. like, yay, something not beige, white, or black. You know, that's kind of the, the standard. But, you know, luckily, about 20 years ago, they realized big fellas and big ladies wanted to be pretty and fashionable, too. Not, not yeah. They didn't want to hide anymore. So, luckily, because big and tall clothes you, for guys, too, used to be horribly boring. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, about to show, I'm about to show you a Marvel uh, T-shirt in a huge size. You could have a, a Marvel T-shirt above 2XL in the past because yeah. no yeah. one would license them. And they realized there was a market. Thank God, because, you know, I like wearing T-shirts that are, you know, I like Marvel T-shirts, I like Star Wars T-shirts, but I, my height's in my torso, so I have to buy a 2XLT. So luckily for both men, they started, you know, if you want to be flashy yeah. and fashiony, yeah. you can be. You can be plain and quiet still, but. But, you know, some of the stores, like, you know, I, I myself, I used to shop at Lane Bryant and Tour. I've just recently lost quite a bit of weight. 
But to go out and buy bras, even any clothing at Tort or Lane Bryant, you know, you're looking at $60 bras, $50 bras, you know? So someone and that, asking, what's going to be your average sale price on those bras that you've been showing us? Uh, these ones, I'm thinking averaging around $29. i will do, do a nope. little bit more research, but I, I'm going to average around $29 for the, you know, 50 pluses. So, all right. Now, bras are over. I've got some bras are done. lingerie. <laughs> And I got three of the, uh, two of these. They are by Smart and Sexy. And these are 40, 42 Ds. So they're padded, they're, you know, little 90s. I got that one. Got a pretty fuchsia one. Oh, wow, yeah. And, oh, I did miss a bra. Okay. And then a black one, plain black. But sexy, uh, very nice. I uh, tend to do pretty well with these. These ones, I don't go too high. I'm probably going to go around $19.99 to $21.99 is what I'm thinking because they're not a huge size. Now, this one is um, Secret Treasures, and it's, a, let me see, and it's a 3X. I listed this yesterday, and I sold it within an hour. Oh, geez. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I put it up for $20, bucks, 19.99. So I got to put that in my shipping pile today. <laughs> All right. Coming from a woman, there's a good question. Can you wash bras in a washing machine or would hand wash be better? I myself personally wash them in the washing machine. It's just so much of a hassle for me to hand wash. What I don't do though is I don't put them in a dryer. I hang dry them because I think the dryer puts more stress drying it on the wire if you're using, if you have an underwire. So mine go in the wash, but never the dryer. Okay, and I did forget one bra with this cute little one. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought that was nice. I've already got three people watching it. I listed it yesterday. And this is Wacol. There we go. Up. And size-wise is a 46G. So I got all the bras, and I listed all my um, bras, lingerie, and scrub tops last night. So... I can't do anything tonight. Tomorrow will be all the Hawaiian shirts and rain spoon. I'll get all those listed. So um, other than that, what do I have? I got this cute little guy. I got this guy in Barstow. And I sometimes, okay, a lot gravitate towards what I think is just interesting and neat. It wasn't, this isn't really a weird category. But when I looked at the bottom, it's McCoy Pottery. Made in the oh, USA. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and I really liked it. I did do some research on this, and they seem to be going from anywhere from thirty to forty dollars, and I paid three dollars for it. Nice. But McCoy pottery is always kind of a big deal, like Bauer pottery, McCoy pottery. Those are always kind of a big deal. So look at that listed. Let me hop in here, and I'll show a few things. Uh, I got yep. two two plushes to show. So Ooh. I haven't talked about them in a while, but uh, Crazy Shirts is a great brand of T-shirts out of Hawaii. They're thick, they're heavy duty, they, they're expensive when they're new, and they're dyed with various things. Like there's a line of beer dyed ones, money dyed, uh, um, blue curacao dyed, uh, lava crater dyed, and their mascot, his name is Sharka. So here is the mascot from Crazy Shirts, and he's oh, wow. typically gray holding a, uh, a surfboard, and I never tell a one holding a pineapple. And the last one sold for 30 bucks and I picked him up for $2. Love it. So, I love plush. Yeah. So he'll go, uh, he'll go I, quite I well. Now, that, is that the dog <laughs> from uh, Frazier? No, this is uh, Melissa and Doug. It is oh, a Melissa Jack Doug, Russell. Great brand. Yeah, yeah. So I paid, um, I think four bucks for him. He was $8, got him on half price day and they're going for 40. Yep. Melissa so, and Doug is always great. Now tag, this perfect. is, uh, Mini new with tags. She's the Halloween greeter. Uh, she is. She was new for thirty bucks. This was a Kmart special. Um, ooh, her her cape is coming off. I gotta fix her cape. Uh, but uh, and I'll probably get full price closer to Halloween. But I'll put her up for about forty forty five bucks. And I might even try her locally because the problem is she is tall, but she is solid. I can't her like yeah. most plush because yeah. she is meant to stand up. So I remember I get, those. Like, they're heavy footed. They sell different ones and they're heavy yep. footed. So they stay up. Yeah. So I can just get 30 cute. bucks for her locally. Uh, I'll just do it that way. Now we're talking big uh, yeah. girls, guys and girls sizes. Here is a Punisher, uh, the Marvel Comics Punisher 7L t-shirt. Wow. Yeah. That makes you look tiny. I know. 
And I, I wear like a 2 XLT <laughs> or a 3X. So um, I can't even find... Now, you can go order a 7XL at, at DXL. DXL is a big size. I can't find anyone selling this 7XL anywhere right now. Yeah. So I'm going to get that up, and hopefully a, a 7XL guy who wants to rock his Punisher shirt will love it. Now... Uh, what are you going to sell those for? You know, I'll probably put it up for like 50 bucks. Oh, awesome. Uh, I teased this yesterday and a little bit today. So we're going to ask the chat. All right, chat, on the spot, tell me what this logo is. Do you know, Cheryl? No idea. All right. Let's see who comes up in the chat with it first. Hello, Matt. Better late than ever. Hey, Matt, do you know this logo? <laughs> I see Matt just popped in. <laughs> <laughs> So who knows this logo? I know there's going to be somebody. We got 100 people watching us. Someone's going to know why I bought these T-shirts. So I'm going to grab some other stuff here real quick. Right sure, no problem. All right, chat. Don't let me down. I know someone knows. No, definitely not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep. Sunday Drivers got it. The Money Isabel Mayweather. This is Floyd Mayweather's The Money Team T-shirts on the Pro Player, uh, uh, Pro Superweight line and 7xl i got a couple <laughs> different ones i got this one the swirly font i got oops oh another swirly font and another swirly font so i can do a quantity of three cool and then i got this one in red is jet the money jet and wow. The Money Team t-shirts, uh, not giant size, but normal size, have been selling used for like $35, $40. And I've got all these big ones. I got uh, I got a blue one with a jet. So it'll be easy to do the listing, duplicate it, just change out the colors and the pictures because it's the same size. And then, I love sell similar. Uh, yep. And then like the red ones, I really font on one, one two. <laughs> three and four. So they were $6 a piece. They are seven XL Floyd Mayweather, one of the most popular fighters of all time because he's so popular. You love him or you hate him. <laughs> and he is the highest paid boxer of all time. And so if you're a big fella and want to roll with the money team, I've got you covered. With seven XL. That's awesome. I've never found yep. any five XL is the largest I found. I just sold an 8XL button down the other. That's the largest I've sold. I have seen 10XL. Really? There was a I, store I always... in Sandusky, Ohio that carried up to 10 on a normal basis. Okay. Wow. Got it. Okay. What else do I got? These are small items, but somebody on the board uh, a couple months ago had talked about the Space Maker pencil boxes. And I sold one recently, just, you know, simple pencil box. I sold one recently for $15. So I got four or five of them this weekend in Vegas. And some were 79 cents and a few of them were 50 cents because I got half price and then 20% on others. So, and so I'll put those up for 15 bucks a piece. And then I got two large ones, which I haven't researched, but I'm probably going to go around $19 for the big ones. I, I don't know why the space makers are a big deal, but as I always say, if people want to buy them, I'm happy to sell them to them. So I, I know we just talked about clothes, but Michelle had a question in the chat. Yeah. Um, do you wash the used clothes you thrift? Um, you know what? I try to inspect them. If I find anything, I wash them. But usually what I'll end up doing is throwing them in the dryer to kind of sanitize them and clean them with a... Um, with a bounce, but the uh, hypoallergenic ones. I, I don't put a bounce in there with all the smells, but I've got some of those just ones that make it soft and hypo, hypo, hypoallergenic, I think it is, so people aren't allergic to the smell. Because I know there's a lot of issues. I had I have a small little um, Hawaiian stuffed onion I'm selling, and the, the lady emailed me and asked, you know, have you Febrezed it? Have you washed it? Blah, 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 you know, because she said she's highly allergic to any type of smell or perfumes or anything. So I try to make sure they don't have smells on them, anything I sell. So. Yeah, and I don't I don't wash either unless, and people always give me grief. Of course, if we're going to list an item and we find dirt or odor or something, yes, of course. But yeah, neighbors yeah. in Vegas, for the most part, 
not that they clean the clothes, but they don't put out nasty clothes. Yeah, and so yeah. most of the clothes that hit the floor, and especially in Vegas, a lot of new tags hit yeah. the floor fresh. Now, what do you do, Cheryl? What do, what does anyone do who buys used clothes, no matter what's been told to them? They still wash it. There's no yep. point. There's no point. 100%. Right, as soon on. as I order, I just ordered myself some stuff yesterday on eBay. As soon as I get it, it goes in the wash. There's no doubt about it. So, but yeah, I think in the quantity that, you know, we all tend to buy in, it's kind of, it runs into more time consumption and energy consumption, you know, using a washer and dryer for everything. If I, if I find, so I have a stack of things over here, a few things that when I was going through to list, I didn't notice when I was photographing, but when I went to go list and measure, I noticed some spots. So I'll try spraying, washing them and putting them in the washer. They don't come out. They just go away. You know, I know somebody had that question the other day, not too long ago about, um, you know, what do you do? Uh, they, they were hitting like a five or 10% defect rate. You know, it's like, it's going to happen. We can expect it as well as we can in the store, but when you're rushed, there's lots of people. Sometimes you're just going to miss it. You're just going to miss it. I mean, I bought a pair of Koi scrub pants one time. I'm like, Oh, cool. I think they were two bucks. You know, I got them home. I started photographing them. I noticed between the thighs, there were holes because somebody had worn them and just rubbed the thighs raw, you know? So it's like, it's going to happen. I never would have thought to look at that, but now I do. I look at the thighs of a pair of pants before I buy them. It's something you don't think about, you know? So, and then right, what, bras else, what else you got there? Okay. What else I got? Well, I won't go through each and every one, but I did get a lot of scrub tops. I got a lot of Koi. I got the different styles, anywhere from a three X to an extra small. I know Koi always tends to go well. I usually try to get $18.99 to $21.99 a pair. Um, I won't go through all those. I did get what I've been doing. I've noticed is that I've done well with larger scrub tops. If I find anything, cause you know, usually the UA brand or the scrub brand, the SB scrubs aren't high end sellers, but if I find anything three X or higher, I'll buy it. And I right, get around $18 cool. a piece. And this one's an awesome one. It's got dogs all over it. So, mm -hmm. And I got another 3X, Leprechaun, a little late, but it'll still sell, right, <laughs> at some point. I, I'm a huge fan of the Li-Fi, the list didn't forget it, so. And Penguins, all 3X. And this one was a fun one. Being in Vegas, I had to find something Elvis. Oh, nice. <laughs> I got Elvis Presley scrub top. And it looks like these were going for around 25 bucks. So I paid for this one. I paid $4. I would pick up so, scrubs for sure. Yeah, I, I always do the scrubs. This was a cute little one. Again, this has no name, but I kind of like the content with the pirates on it. So, and what else? Got some scrub pants. And this... I, I didn't find anything. It's a new with tags denim shirt and it's got fire rescue med on it and it's uh, river's end, but it still had tags. Yeah. So, God, I love, God I love new with tags and, that, and that's yeah. just Vegas all the time. So I didn't find anything to match it. So I think I'm going to go probably like 29 99, you know, until I do, you know, find out more. I mean, I know obviously it's EMT stuff, but I couldn't find anything. All right, more scrubs. And little new game, a dog sequence game. Not a not a high end, but I paid three bucks and I'll get twenty-two for it. So all right, what else do I got? Oh, I got. I gotta clean it up. Oh wow. Guess what it is? You can't really see it, but it's Tiffany's. Get out. So, yeah. So, paid about three bucks for it. I, I tend, since you had mentioned looking in the um, the vase section for tiki mugs, I tend to do a quick scan of the um, the vases and the candles. So, because I found some odd stuff there before. So, just one, unfortunately, not a set. But doing a little research, I'll get about 30 bucks for it. And... Yeah, these little guys. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're what's they're the, um the Sigma. They are Sigma. Oh, let me get that. Oh, that better. Awesome. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I'll get about 45 for the pair. So those are always fun. And I got, sorry, I tried to keep everything close. I got a four pack of these for $2.99 in the bag section. So half price was $1.50. They're for Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts has oh, the little wow, derby yeah. racers, and these are rain gutters. So I'm thinking to make, I gotta make sure they're all there, but I'm thinking I'm gonna put all four of them up for about $30. So I, I know sometimes when people are buying them, they buy them for more of a troop. So I think four would probably go better than selling them individually as one. And I got these. I've done zero research on these, but I got these. I have to tell you, we, my daughter and I stopped in Barstow Friday night for the night. And then we went to Calico Ghost Town on Saturday. And part of the thing was that I told her I wanted to hit a couple of thrift stores. So they had um, a Salvation Army and two mom and pops that I hit. And the one mom and pop was really good. So I got a bunch of these little pennants. I've done zero research, but I know some of these can go pretty well. The vintage pendants. That's... So, and then I know a lot uh, with a lot of the American Indian mascots being taken away too, that can add. And then this one was the biggest one. So I thought that was kind of cool. My I, mom has done real well on pennants the last six, eight months or so. Yeah. So I, again, I've done zero research on these, so I apologize for that, but I'm hoping to list high. I don't know. I'll do research and see if I should list them separately or as a group because I know sometimes collectors will want a group. So I'll have to decide what to do there. And this is kind of a funky little purse. Oh, nice. Well, like, um, final record uh, purse. Now, is it the record again on the other side or is it the cover? It is on the other not. Side? It's the cover. Yeah. And these look to be going around. I, of course, I couldn't find the exact same band. I'm not sure the band, but. Um, they go. They seem to be going around twenty-five to forty, depending on the band. So Wait, mine's probably who's who's the band? Cuckoo, K O O K O O. Huh. I don't think. Hmm. <laughs> you don't know a band? I don't think that oh, cover oh, is. It's Debbie Harry. Isn't it Olivia Newton John? I think. Yeah, it says Debbie Harry right there. Or Debbie Harry, Debbie Harry, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, I I didn't even see that. So I and it's, the album. Yeah, yeah, that's the cover. Album. Yeah. Not not see? Olivia Newton John. Debbie Harry is what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so, where okay. So there I just found a keyword. Where where uh, where'd you find that purse at? I found this. This was in Vegas. And uh, I don't honestly, I don't remember the store. But I was looking for, um, I didn't bring a beach bag. My daughter and I went to the pool. So I wanted to find a little bag, just carry our sunscreen. And then I found, I didn't use this one, but I found this one. I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll get it. All right, <laughs> so. So you, just got, you just got some kick-ass bone birds, thanks to Speed Trap Collectibles. H.R. Geiger did the artwork for that cover. He's the guy that did the uh, Aliens artwork, I think. Oh, honest. hang on. Okay. I don't, don't want to be called out if I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He also he also did, if I'm not mistaken, Jonathan Davis's microphone stand. Jonathan Davis, singer of Corn. Oh, okay. Yep. I Peter remember Geiger that. did the Aliens from Aliens. Yep. Okay. All right. There you go. You got bonus keywords now for your purse. Very awesome. I love it. Thank you, now chat. This, That's awesome. This was a weird buy, but again, I love weird. I got. I think there's 16 packages of these. They're Looks like to be from the 90s. Nice. Max. And they're little little discs. Like um, they almost look like a little doll plate, like a little tea plate. So um, I haven't found a lot on them. So I did find somebody selling a new unopened box of 24 unopened packages. I think they were asking like 20 bucks. So I'm probably gonna go a little higher because I've got all the extras. They are opened, but maybe there's something in there that's valuable that somebody will want. So, all right, we got about and, five minutes left. I got a few more things to share. Okay, you go you, for you, it. You, you got I one last got big one to share? Yeah, I've got one more thing, which. All uh, right, so hang on to that. Yeah. All right, the other day uh, we went antiquing, and I did pick up two books that I. Don Martin. Don was an illustrator for Mad Magazine. Oh, yeah. Uh, and this is uh, 
he has a few books out. This is the one that doesn't come up too often. And I paid 20 and should be able to flip it for about 60. And I bought this for myself. This is a book about Southern California in the 50s. Oh, yeah. And it's got a bunch of great photos like that. Very nice. And it's written by a friend of mine who will be hanging out this weekend in Phoenix. His name is Charles Phoenix. I mean, in Phoenix, <laughs> in Portland, in Portland. His name is Charles Phoenix. And he built an entire career out of showing other people's vacation slides. And he nice. writes books. And I, we didn't have this book. And it was 10 bucks. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to get it. And then the guy's like, oh, that booth was half off. It was five bucks. But I could flip book if I wanted right. for $40. But I didn't have it. So for five bucks, heck yeah. And then make sure you take it and have your friend sign it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anytime we find cool pug stuff, we pick it up. Not because we have pugs or have had pugs. But because we always help the local pug rescue and they do auctions a couple of times a year. Okay. So every thrift pug thing I can find, we put in either by itself or little lots of stuff. And then all the proceeds go to help poor pugs who got a shit uh, turn at life by ending up with people who should not have ever had a dog. Yeah. And this is actually from two halls ago. I forgot to share it. But this is uh, Mary Mold's Christmas ornament kit. Old world ornaments. There's 20 ornaments. Brand new still. Still sealed. Um I paid what I paid for this. I paid three dollars for it, and I should probably be able to get like fifty bucks for it. Wow, maybe more because I can't find this specific kit. I yeah. found their other kits, but this one is eluding me. So I don't know. <laughs> now, last thing I want to share because I've been teasing it is, yay, cassettes and some CDs. Oh, yeah. So I bought tons of cassettes, and I'm gonna, I'm not going to show you every one, but this is Allison Chains. I paid three bucks. It's like a ten dollar cassette. Wow! This Allison Chains, three bucks, ten dollar cassette. Now, Same will you with group Megadeth. any of those together? I'm sorry. Will you group any of those together? Yeah, I've got about 250, 300 to work on. So all the ones that are high ticket, I'm going to FBA them, and then I'll put the lesser ones in groups. Okay. Um, but I had picked up this Van Halen in uh, New York last week. Found out on Amazon is flipping for twenty five dollars. And then found another one this week for three bucks. So I have two of these wow. now. Nice. Um, but I wanted to profile some of the higher ones. I'm a huge ZZ Top fan. I've seen this, the Summer Holiday EP. And all it is, Cheryl, is four of their hit songs from different albums. <laughs> I, it was like some bullshit release. But it wow. goes for 40 bucks. Because it. it's rare. Yeah, uh, Def, yeah. Def Leopard, High and Dry, on CD would be worth about three, four bucks. This is going to get me $30 on cassette. Queen's Greatest Hits will get me $25. Uh, metal band from the 80s that probably none of you know, EZO, is going to get me $20. <clears throat> now, this is a, this is a cool one because it's Van Halen, both Women and Children First and Fair Warning on the same cassette. Two cassettes on one. It's going to be $20. Uh, this rat, Invasion of Your Privacy, is $15. Oops. Uh, Archangel, which was an 80s hair metal band that I did not know, is going to get me $35. <laughs> I see your little uh, post-its on it. <laughs> yep. Did my research. That's what I'm done. Van Halen, Dr. Feelgood is going to be $15. Bucks. Yeah, did I say Van Halen? Molly Crew. Molly Crew, uh, the, a shout out the devil is going to get me $20. Bucks. Wow. There's my second Van Halen. I'm saving one of the coolest ones for last. All right, another metal, another metal band I have never heard of. Mama's Boys. Oh, wow. That me seventeen dollars. A Black Sabbath featuring wow. Tony Iommi when Ozzy wasn't in the band. I paid two bucks. It'll get me twenty five dollars. And even though everyone hates them, I don't. Nickelback <laughs> uh, will get me fifteen bucks. And then this is the coolest one. Uh, this Kick Axe, another like C level 80s hair metal band. Give me 40 yeah. bucks. This one only give me 12, but it's a Casingle. Now, usually, Casing, if you remember back to the days of cassettes, Casingles would slide into thin paper sleeves. This is a actual case, and it is in Dream Warriors from a Nightmare on Elm Street number three. And it has three songs Dream Warriors, Back for the Tech, and Paris is Burning, and it repeats on speed. So it's a wow. song inside B. So I thought that was kind of cool. I also did it. find some CDs and I'll just profile the few uh, big ones. And you'll be shocked by these, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm already shocked by the cassettes. So Zach I Wild, 
uh, was Ozzy Osbourne's guitar player for a lot of years. He's not okay. currently, he's lead singer of his own band, Black Label Society. Yeah. So one year on OzFest, this was the promo sampler that went out for his band on OzFest. This is a tough one to find. I oh, paid okay. four bucks. I'm going to sell it for 20. I have no idea who um is. Not a clue, but I scanned it while I was in the thrift store, yeah. uh, in the record store. They sold it for five bucks. It's going to get me $50 on Amazon. Whoever they and then are, the two okay. that'll be like, get out of here. Anyone seen this movie called The Rocker? It's with Rain Wilson, Christina Applegate, Josh Gad, and M one of Emma Stone's first roles. Oh, wow. It's set in Cleveland. It's not a great movie, but <laughs> it's out of print. So this is a $30 soundtrack that we picked up for three bucks. And the craziest one, the modern reboot of Hawaii Five-0. Yeah. This is the soundtrack, a single soundtrack paid three bucks. $70. What? No way. This is the show that's on right now. What? That's crazy. Yeah, if it were the original, I'd get it. That's just crazy. Yeah. So. I got to spend more time. I need to take a chair and sit in the CD and cassette section. Yeah, now here's <laughs> the deal. Uh, you know, I do webinars a couple times a year for anybody. Anybody yeah. can tune into the webinars. And so my next one's going to be probably in August, and I'm doing a CD webinar. And so I'm going to be teaching you about, you know, because – Buying CDs at a thrift store is fine, but it's a crapshoot. But buying CDs at a record store, there's always things that are always there. And oh, yeah. things like you would never know that Hawaii Five-0 is selling for 70 bucks. No. So I'll be doing a webinar in July teaching all about these. You don't have to be a member of the thrifting board. You don't have to be a member of the Secret Beach. But each my July webinar for the Secret Beach is going to be intro to selling records. I'm knee-deep in 7,000 records, hundreds oh, wow. of cassettes. And so I've got so much information to pour out of me that I can't wait to share it. And uh, and I'll once we do the webinar on CDs for everybody within the Secret Beach, I'll have a bonus content just for you guys for the uh, CD webinar and a cassette webinar after that. So I'll be doing CDs, records, and cassettes because there is so much money. <laughs> Hundreds of dollars. Look, if you don't there know, is. if you haven't been following me but, but a day, I sold a cassette two weeks ago for $118, a used wow. set. So Amazing. if you're skipping those sections, you are leaving money behind. But not every cassette, not every CD record is worthy. That's what I'm going to teach you. The ones that are worthy, the things you gravitate towards, the things you stay away from. So that's what's yeah. coming up. All right, that's my haul. Perfect. What you got to end, Carol? Well, you know what? These, these are really anticlimactic after what you just did. I just got these awesome little glass candles, which... It was really the last thing. So, and uh, I think well, I'm going to listen. Like I like them. Yeah. You put, you know, the oil. So they're like an oil lamp and I'm going to sell them for 40 bucks. So and, that's pretty and, much it. And to go back real quick, one of the things I'm going to teach is how to get your spouse involved who doesn't care to thrift or look up CDs because I actually didn't find these. Stacy did. Ah. So Stacy basically, <laughs> Stacy basically spent six bucks and it's going to turn into $100. Nice. Any spouse, I don't care if they like thrift or not, if they can see six bucks turn a hundred bucks, they would be rarely a spouse and stick their hat, head in and help. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that's a hundred bucks that was just going <laughs> to say stay at the thrift or at the record store. Now it's going to go in our pocket. Well, I don't have a spouse, but I've been trying to get my 10 year old involved. So when we go out, I'll let her scan, I'll let her look up while she sits in the cart. When I tell her how much something's going to get, she's like, oh, wow, that's awesome. It's like, yep, keep doing it. Learn it now. Carry it into your adulthood. So, Absolutely. So, wonderful. My, my mom's getting all mad. Easy, ma. Easy, ma. Uh -oh. Look, people give me thumbs <laughs> down. I don't care because they still show up to watch. So, hi. There you go. <laughs> so, for those of you who are having a good time, give us a thumbs up. If you like me, if you don't like me, but you like Cheryl, give her a thumbs up. <laughs> and Cheryl, are we going to see you for eBay Open in two weeks? Unfortunately, no, not this year, but I'm going to try to, you know, with the vacation, I've got another vacation in August. I'm going to try to save and do it next year. I really want to do it. So, and I'm bummed that we didn't get to hang out with you at a couple thrift stores this last week. So yeah, if you're here as I was gone. And when I came back, I had two shots in my spine. I absolutely yeah. would have hung with you. You know, it would have yeah. hung. In, oh, yeah. I know. Well, next but, year we, we seem to be going once every, my mom goes about every other month out to Vegas, but um, probably next summer, we're probably going to head out maybe even spring break. So we'll uh, see if we can connect that. Cool. Once awesome. I'm getting two shots in my spine, I am there. <laughs> yeah, sounds all like right, a lot of fun. Yeah, it wasn't all that fun. So yeah. thank you for tuning in uh, off to Portland for a Tiki event.
Uh, I am doing two things in the Tiki event. I'm giving a speech on Tiki, a brand new one you have not seen. Ooh. You all can watch it. You just have to go to the BG Reynolds Tiki Bar group. I will have the link in the thrifting board. You just got to join the group. It'll be live on Saturday at 1 o'clock West Coast time. And then at 7 o'clock West Coast time, the commentator on the Iron Tiki Tender uh, cocktail contest. So <laughs> if you've ever seen uh, uh, Iron Chef, same thing except with cocktails. There's three segments, and uh, my, me and my buddy Ray are the commentators. So we're our job is to keep the the flow going while they're shaking cocktails and try the competitors laugh. So those are things you can watch live on Facebook with E.G. Reynolds Facebook group. So all I got to do is join the group, and those links will be up there. So I will have the link for that group and what I'm doing, and I'm doing it in the Thrifting Board and the Secret Beach. So if you want to tune in, cool. If not, I'll be back next week with a whole slew of new shows. Thrifty Business will be back. Selling past your expiration date will be back, and my next Tiki Adventures will be coming up. So, mm -hmm. Cheryl, thank you very much. I'm glad you had a good time. I'm glad you found everything, uh, found good stuff here. Do you know what you okay. spent overall? The chat was asking, do you know what you spent in Vegas? I'm just I spent around 250 total. Okay. And I'm hoping with everything, kind of looking at a rough guesstimate, about 1,500 maybe to get towards it. If you know, I know everything doesn't sell at once, that would be nice, but I'm hoping around 1,500, maybe a little bit more. So, we'll see. Yeah, dive deep into that listing this week. <laughs> well, good good luck listen. Good luck listen, everybody. Hop over Thank to the Thrifting Board. If you're not joining us, come on over. It's a free group. We got almost a thousand members. We should probably hit fifty thousand by eBay open. There is and, no other uh, those group you, to be a part of. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> and those of you coming to the Secret Beach Bash, I just got off the phone with a caterer today. If you had if you came last year and had the food and it was great. He says he's 100 times better than last year. And I thought the food was amazing Ooh. last year. So <laughs> be ready for those of you coming to the bash. It's going to be epic. And with that, I'm out here. Thank you, Cheryl. Have a All right, wonderful thanks, Jason. day, everybody. Thanks for having me.